My country, Nigeria, currently has a population of 198 million people, with young people below the age of 15 making up 44% of the total population. And overall, half of the total population are below the age of 30. That the future of Nigeria is in the hands of these young people. Keep the numbers close. I come from northern Nigeria, a place that has predominant Muslim population. In this part of Nigeria, most women become bright during their adolescence and because of the culture, she's immediately pressurized to have her first child before the age of 18. If she survives the pregnancy, she becomes a matured minor. If not, she ends up with festula. That's the reality for most girls in this part of Nigeria. Few years ago, my family had a first-hand experience of how it feels to pull out an adolescent out of school, make her a bride, and have her become a teenage mother. My mother adopted a young, beautiful girl called Hawa. After agreements with, with her family that they won't take her until she gets at least secondary school, she was in school and she was doing well. She had her own dreams of becoming a nurse. But one day, her father sent for her to come home because she was due for marriage to a man who was twice her age, whom she also didn't know. My family made efforts to convince the father to let her have at least a secondary school education, but he was adamant and my family had no option, so she was sent home. Immediately she got home, she got married and became pregnant. When it was time to give birth, her husband went to call the woman in the neighborhood to help her deliver. Hawa lost a lot of blood during that birth and Hawa was lost and the baby was lost. The Hawa that will have been one of the young people that will help Nigeria attend demographic dividend was lost. 2017, my country, amongst many countries, adopted the African Union roadmap to harnessing demographic dividend. But the question is, can Nigeria achieve that without investing in the education of girls? Can Ni Northern Nigeria go close to that without ending child marriage? without investing in family planning. The issue of child marriage varies from region to region, but in, west, but in northwestern part of Nigeria, where I come from, 76% of girls are married off before the age of 18. For me, as a young lady from Nigeria, demographic dividend means a Nigeria where young people are empowered, educated, and their priorities are put first and their burden of dependency are lessened. When all young people are healthy and have basic information about their sexual and reproductive health, a period when youths are fully employed and girls are allowed to go to school as well as get equal opportunities. Nigeria being among one of the countries with the highest maternal deaths, 40,000 women yearly with young girls, mostly from northern Nigeria, making up this number. It is obvious that every year of schooling for an adolescent girl in northern Nigeria delays pregnancy and birth by the same number of years of schooling. If this investment are made, girls will become more empowered and likely to have economic power, contribute to household income, and share in-house influence in decision making. Based on my experiences in this part of Nigeria, I have the following recommendation for you as a change maker. Engaging community and religious leaders at all levels. This is because they have tremendous influence, trusted, and have power of communication, and they can model a new social norm for the region. Empowering girls through girl child education and life skills will delay the age of marriage and improve the likelihood of her attaining the investment objective. We can only achieve that based on improving the sexual and reproductive health of our girls, especially on the issue of family planning. I am going to challenge myself to model what a young Northern girl can achieve if proper investment is met. My name is Aisha Waziri. 
I am the Youth Program Officer for Nigerian Urban Reproductive Health Initiative, a 120 under 40 winner, a member of African Youth Network for Adolescents, a member of the United Nations Population Fund Youth Advisory Group, an alumni of Kennedy Luga Youth Exchange and Study Program, and I'm a member of the International Youth Alliance for Family Planning. Thank you.